Isn't that illegal? I've just had a message from yet another Christian who still doesn't get the message about burning in hell if you don't love Jesus or God. This person says to me that praising God and Jesus isn't a threat at all. And the example he gives is it's more like a teacher who gives you some work and says study this work and you'll pass your test but if you don't study this you fail your test so it's just a simple choice like that and so he's saying that loving God and Jesus is the same kind of choice how is that even remotely the same kind of thing what if that teacher had said to you study this work and you'll pass your test but if you don't study I will roast you over an open fire until you scream in unending pain for the rest of your life and for all eternity is that not what it's saying in the Bible so the teacher and the study analogy it doesn't even begin to cover it because the consequences aren't anywhere near as bad. You don't feel threatened by the thought of failing a test. There are consequences for failing that test, but it's not life-threatening. It's not going to cause you pain and suffering for all eternity if you don't do the, do the work and pass the test. But you should feel threatened and you would feel threatened if someone said to you you'll be tortured forever if you don't love him I'll put, it, I'll put it another way scrolling down the screen a father or a mother I'll use a father a father tells all his children that he loves them but that he doesn't love the bad things that they do that's a fair enough statement do you love me too? he asks his children of course we do they say to him we love you daddy then the father says don't forget if you stop loving me I'm going to take this cigarette I'm going to burn you with it when does love start to become abuse when the consequences become serious enough to cause actual harm to a person either physical or mental harm which the physical harm would be burning your child with a cigarette if they did something bad mental harm is telling them that you're going to burn them with a cigarette if, you, if they do something bad now there are plenty of atheists who used to be Christians but who ended up realising that Christianity had made them into fearful people and some people have been totally crippled with the fear that they, they might do something, anything they didn't know what to offend God and so it, it's held back those people's lives because they don't develop into normal, ordinary, happy human beings. And that is a form of mental abuse. It's damaging and it's what religion can do to people. It's brainwashing. It's simple as, as that. It's brainwashing. People get brainwashed by religion. It's, you see these cults on TV, it's just as bad as the worst of the cults. Another thing in the message that this person sent to me was Christianity is like friendship because if you bribe somebody or you threaten somebody or force them to be your friend that wouldn't be a real friendship would it? And he went on to say when we choose something else but God we automatically choose hell 
and we've got free will. We've got that's a free choice. How is that a free choice? What if I said to you, you can be my friend if you want to, but if you don't, if you don't choose to be my friend, you automatically choose to be burned to death by me. I am constantly astounded and amazed that Christians do not see this. They just refuse to even look at the possibility that Christianity is all about threats. And I know I've made a lot of videos about this before, and I'll probably make another few in the future, but I'm going to keep ramming it home. If you get two choices, and one of those choices is torture for all eternity, that is a threat. There is nothing else that it could possibly be. So Christians just work it out. Isn't that illegal? Censor your kids' ideas. Censor your child's inspiration. Censor all that. Expect a really heavy return spring, because you know what? That kid's going to turn her on you, and you're never, ever going to have a part of his life again. Casting off the chains of the world. But enough about me.